Arigato. Um, sorry, I'm so sorry I can't speak in Japanese for <laughs> this talk. Uh, so um, my apologies uh, uh, for that. Um, but let me say uh, first, thank you so much um, to Professor Rakao and to all the members of the society for inviting me. Um, I'm, I feel honored and delighted to be here, and it's been such, such a pleasure um, getting to know all of you and hearing really such interesting uh, research and, and practice and getting a chance to play with you and uh, dance with you and all of that. ね、あの、um, and before I forget, also please let me say thank you so much uh, for the translation services, without which this would be impossible. Uh, so thank you. Um, as Professor Wakao said, you have an English version of uh, a paper that I sent in advance. Uh, that deals with the subject of my talk uh, in the program, but uh, it's not very interesting to just say the thing on the page, uh, so I wanted to go ahead and, and talk at a little more length and um, a little more informally about the work that I'm doing and the way that I see it interacting and intersecting with the work that you guys are doing uh, here today. Um, I wanted to start with some discussion of the title uh, because the thing I was trying to do uh, when I was, when Professor Wakao asked me to, first asked me about coming and delivering a, a presentation, um, he said he wanted to see something, or you would want to see something that uh, gathered together new research and the kind of took, took stock of the state of research in the field of improvisation, musical improvisation, uh, but also drew new things from my own research. And, the way I thought about it, my research in improvisation, in musical improvisation, is really taking stock of kind of three things, in a sense. Um, and I tried to build those three things into the title. So the, the title includes three components of my current interests in musical improvisation, kind of smushed together. Um, えっと、uh, the first of the three things that I'm working on is interactivity. Uh, so I think three things, training, interactive, and mind. Um, the first one is interactivity. And I'm looking at interactivity in a whole bunch of ways. Um, that I think move from small scale to large scale. Uh, so I'm looking at intera interaction between musicians. I'm very interested in the ways that improvisation requires, uh, or often requires, interactivity between musicians, except, of course, when there's only one person playing. Uh, 
interactivity between performers and audiences. So when you're improvising with an audience, uh, there's the interaction between the people on the stage, but then also with that next level, that next higher level with the audience, uh, which is so kind of crucial, I think, and important. And then this third level of interacti interactivity um, that is maybe more virtual than real. If the first two are very concrete and real, the third level is virtual. It's this interactivity uh, that happens kind of in the mind of the performer and in the minds of the audience between musicians making music and the rest of the world. Whether that means soundscapes and landscapes and ecologies, uh, or if it means history and memory, um, or if it means uh, anything else, I guess, really, within the world. で、3点の、3点は1つが相互作用性、2つ目がトレーニング訓練育成、そして3つ目がマインド、知ること、知という、その3つなんですけれども、まず最初のインタラクティビティについて、相互作用性の中に3つ私が注目していることがあります。それは